Yo, what is going on guys? It's Hatchets here and today we have some huge Call of Duty teaser news for Black Ops Cold War Zombies as well as leaks for multiplayer. So we're going to begin with the teaser that we have for Keener der Toten and basically we've seen in the Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War Zombies menu a small image. We also saw the same image in the D Machina intro that I made a video about before. So I did say that Keener der Toten is going to come back in a Berlin theater remake and basically we're going to show you guys the screen once more but I also have more details for it. So if we zoom in on this specific image from the loading screen and create a class we can see that a specific location is pinpointed. If you do in fact look up this location on Google Maps you can see that this is where the Berlin TV tower is. So it's a special German name for it. You guys know how the Germans like to do that but if we took that same location and looked at it in Kino der Toten outside of the map especially in Chronicles and the original map I think those are the only two versions versions there are. No, there actually are more versions of Keener der Toten, but we see this same exact spire, so that means that we are most definitely gonna get a Keener der Toten remake, along with the audio files, like I said before, 115, the Easter egg song from Keener der Toten, has been uncovered from multiple leaks. So now we're gonna move on to the multiplayer map leaks, and basically, Call of Duty Leaker, which is a really reputable source from Twitter, has tweeted out that Raid is gonna be coming back to Call of Duty Black Black Ops Cold War, either in Season 1 or in later DLCs. We actually have no idea, but that's really exciting because I did love Raid. Raid was a fantastic map back in BO2 for trick shotting, all that type of stuff. Just an overall really good map, and that brought a lot of attraction to Black Ops 2 because Black Ops 2 had both solid multiplayer and zombies maps. So guys, for the last part of the video, we're going to be going over some discussion for some standalone survival maps. So people on Twitter and Reddit are requesting that Treyarch basically uses the paths for onslaught and multiplayer maps to make standalone survival games with no Easter eggs. So basically what these maps are are just strictly survival with pack-a-punch, the perks, and everything. And people are reasoning that Treyarch already has the mapping laid out for each map through onslaught. So if they could just basically add pack-a-punch, add perks, all that type of stuff, and make it flow like a Nocturne Toten survival map like the original one, then it would be fantastic. So we can extrapolate this and exemplify that through possibly a Nuketown 84 version of the map, which would be exactly like the Nuketown from Black Ops 2. And you would have Pack-a-Punch on there because in Onslaught, you cannot Pack-a-Punch at all. And you cannot buy perks, that type of stuff. You get free perk drops and free weapon drops. And people are also saying in multiple leaks that there's going to be a Nocturne on Toten survival map coming out of D-Machina. So it might be a standalone survival map. We also might get all survival standalone maps instead of just getting DLC. So we might get DLC, which would be the Vietnam map and Kino der Toten, and we also might get standalone survival maps. So that's going to do it for this video. If you guys enjoyed the video, please remember to comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys within the next one.